It's father, son, it's, fa it's a family business, right? Family business, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and and it's uh, it's good, yeah. We uh, we work together good now. We didn't so much in the past, but uh, we're <laughs> in a good place now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, we work together yeah. now, and not so good in the past, but uh, we do, we're working together good now. <laughs> like, seriously, yeah. just that, right? How many champion CEOs... And when I say champion CEOs, I'm talking about how many contractors come to prop to come to us and their family businesses, either husband, wife, father, son, uncles, whatever. And one of the things I hear consistently prior to them getting things, you know, uh, going in the right direction is there's a lot of there's a lot of headbutting, there's a lot of uh, miscommunication. Let's just say a lot of uh, issues as a whole. Andrew, can you relate to that? Oh yeah, uh, I ended up leaving the company for what a couple of years, just because it was just so frustrating. Really? We always we always fought all the time, and I I, I blame myself partly too because I was pretty hard headed before. But it just uh, we weren't organized as a company, and it was just frustrating. I'm sure Sheldon can probably agree to that. Oh, oh definitely, definitely. It uh, I could see the frustration on his side. The frustration was on my side, running the company, wearing all the hats, doing all the stuff all the time you know working from five in the morning till midnight every day uh, it was just it was so much and just organized chaos is the only way i can explain it and i don't blame him for leaving um i'm glad he's back because i i, I couldn't do this without him you know it's it's interesting it's interesting i'm looking at your faces and you guys look so happy I mean, you do like it's it, you know, it's it, you, you know. So it it's a lot different now, isn't it, than where where you were at? Oh, it's it's a complete 180. Like it, it's it's incredible when I sit down and I look back, and I don't dwell on the past. I just keep looking forward. Uh, but when I look at where we came from and where we are now. Um, we've got more time, uh, we've got more time with our families, we've got less stress, and yeah, there is still stress to a certain point. Of course. Uh, but we manage it now better. And because we've implemented a lot of procedures and, and these things that, uh, that we've been taught at Profit for Contractors, it's made our life a lot easier and we're able to do the, the more important things and that's spending time with family and and uh, looking after our health and, and, and those things, right? So let's talk about, you know, the area that you put some of your time in, which was understanding your numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a slap in the face <laughs> when, you, when you see your numbers. <laughs> I, I remember the aha moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, moment is uh, I turned to Andrew and I said uh, okay uh, we need to just forget about the past and focus on now and focus on the future because if we focused on the past uh, it would just bring us down because yeah we made money but when we looked at how inefficient we were and how much money we could have made to free up that time for our family and other important things, it was mind boggling. Right. So you had the shift, Andrew. So for you, you had to see the formula, true? Oh, yeah. And you know, it changes your mind because I used to always get frustrated. We lose a job, right? Because we were more than the other guy. And I get so mad. Oh, well, if we would have just charged a little bit less, we would have got that job. But now you plug your numbers into the formula, it spits out your cost to the cent, that's the cost. If you lose the job to somebody cheaper, well, at least I didn't lose money on the job. So let's say prior to profit for contractors. No bullshit, don't have to be precise, but just give them a gauge. Where would your, where would your you know, net profit, say do in dollars, roughly be? And where would your, like say 12 months worth, and compare it to say 12 months worth of, with profit for contractors? Andrew, you want to answer that? 
before, I'm going to be honest, if we made a net profit, that was a good year. Yep. We always paid ourselves, but if we made if we made a net profit on the business, it was rare. Whereas now, I mean, for example, we did one, I'll just go by one job just because it's easy, easier sure. in my mind. It was a $35,000 job. We made 11 grand net in three and, weeks. And in the past, you would have been lucky That's to make it. We would have lost. We would have lost on the job. I know we would have. Yeah. Because we didn't know our numbers. Yep. Yeah.